got different meds, so you want to just keep keep moving and, and uh, keep the ball rolling. Um, again, sometimes it's a combination of medicine. Sometimes people, you know, you really need to understand what's driving the POTS, and so sometimes MCAS is actually what you need to treat because that's aggravating the POTS, and that's why the POTS treatments aren't working, and you treat the MCAS side of things, and then treatments that previously didn't help the POTS that much start working better. It all comes down to, you know, trying as best as we can figure out the big picture. And sometimes it's, it's, it's more straightforward. Sometimes it's harder, but um, not to be discouraging. So, I mean, many of you have, you know, it's hard enough just to get a doctor to say, yeah, you have POTS as opposed to, yeah, I don't know, your heart beats a little fast, you must be anxious, or you're just not drinking enough water. And so, but then to get to the point where, yes, you do have POTS, or I, physicians, doctor, provider says, I believe you have POTS, and then they treat you. Um, and again, fortunately, many patients will do well with whatever treatment gets started, but sometimes it's like a lot of things in medicine, there's just a lot of nuance to it.